Good afternoon guys, my name is Luke. Today we are going to shoot a wireless signal using this wireless bridge from my shop all the way across the road over there to our bin site and to our tractor shed. Today we are going to unbox the UEEVII wireless transmitter kit. This is a wireless bridge kit designed to send ethernet or wireless um, internet from one point to another point. Uh, it can shoot upwards of three miles in you know ideal conditions. Obviously, it's not going to shoot through a bunch of trees that far. Let's open this thing up. Pretty nice packaging here. We have a paper user manual, which is really handy. Lots of uh, lots of things don't come with paper manuals now. We have two hose clamps that are used to connect the each bridge to a pole. We have two Ethernet cables that are used to connect each bridge to a router or a switch or a PoE connection. Here's each bridge. It's just a plastic bridge. It's got our uh, cover here. We open up. All of our ports go in here. You got a um, like a land, two land ports maybe. You have a button to operate the unit. You have a plug to plug your power into and then you have a digital readout there. And also an AB switch. We have two of these bridges. I think they are identical. And we also have two POEs. So you plug this into the wall and then you run your uh, POE connection from this to the uh, bridge itself and that supplies power. Right, so we have two of those. So before I took over the farm, my grandpa, this was his farm across the road, uh, the bin site and all that. He built, designed all that, built the sheds and everything. Well, multiple times he's had people break in and it's not even really breaking in, but just walk into the shed and, you know, borrow stuff, take it off with them. And there's not really any way we can lock it up. Um, I do have cameras here on my, my property watching kind of the road, but you know, that is not gonna stop anybody from getting in. So I've always wanted cameras up there, but I don't have Wi-Fi. And I don't really want to pay for, you know, a cellular data plan to have cameras put over there. So I've always thought about somehow getting internet up there. Well, here recently I had someone, a company reach out to me and they want me to try out their wireless bridge kit. And I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to get Wi-Fi up there. So we're going to tie into the Wi-Fi in my shop. When I built my shop, I ran an underground wire from my house to my shop. Um, so I have a hardwired connection out here and a wireless router. So my plan is to mount this black box, this wireless bridge, somewhere right up in here on the front of my shop. That should give us a good line of sight up there to my uh, barn and bin site. There's a little bit of trees in the way, but don't think that'll affect it no more than it is. So up here in the front of my shop, up here I have a board across the front of my shop here. This is where our internet router and everything is located also have a power plug up there so we can plug everything in. Hey guys, essentially I got some power strips we're going to plug our POE into here. That'll give us power. And then we are going to run, essentially we will run this from our POE port to this right here and as y'all can see there we have power now to mount my wireless bridge I put a couple screws here with the right spacing according to the back of this bridge mounted and in place. Now down here below it, I'm going to drill a hole with a step bit and I'm going to install a grommet so that my ethernet cable coming out of the building, it won't cut the ethernet cable and protect itself. Here's our grommet. I'm gonna bore the hole just big enough for the grommet. Ethernet cable here, got my end put on it. You can purchase your own Ethernet cable 
or make your own just like I just did. I'm gonna plug this into the LAN one port up under here and then I'm gonna put my cover back on. That's our final product. And that there is our final product on the outside of the shop. Next step is to plug our PoE block into some a power source, hook the PoE side to our camera, which is this ethernet wire right here. And then take the other ethernet wire, which is the LAN side of things, plug it into our wireless router down here. All right, we now have wireless signal traveling to the wireless bridge, which is right outside the wall right here. All right guys, so we're back on the uh, Wi-Fi bridge project here. Just gonna give y'all a quick little update. I failed to read the instructions, so I installed both, uh, both bridges and couldn't get my Wi-Fi to work. Went back, manned up, and read through the manual. So to pair these units, you need, from what I understand, you need to have them fairly close. So I've got one there, one here. Um, basically all you do is there's a, a button on the bottom. If y'all can see that, it says A, B, the unit that is connected to the Wi-Fi or to your internet source, which is this one up here, you need it set to A. That is your master uh, master bridge. And then your other unit, you want to set it to B. If you can see under there, this one's set on B. Um, this is our slave unit. Uh, this is the one that receives the signal from that one um, up there at my bins. Hopefully it's going to work because we are kind of going through some trees there. We're going to see though. Um, anyway. You want your master on A, your slave on B, and then there's these lights on the side of the unit. If that shows up on camera, you want the lights here, the four lights that determines your signal strength. You know, you want those to be as good as it possible on both of them. And being this one says WLAN, that means we have internet coming from that one to this one. So let's go install this one on the barn, plug it into our wireless router that I installed yesterday, and see if we have Wi-Fi. All right, so we just got our bridge set up here on the side of the barn here. As y'all can see, we're kind of blocked by the grain bin here. Um, my shop is down that way, if y'all can see it. Um, but according to this, we have four bars, which should mean we have good signal. So our wireless bridge comes from over there through the wall, comes to our PoE box, power over ethernet, and then comes out of here to our router here. And it looks like we're green, so we should have Wi-Fi now. I'm gonna pull my phone out here and see if we do have Wi-Fi. Uh, one day, I hope to install some cameras and things up here, security cameras, just so that I can monitor the place. Like when I'm on vacation and going different places, I have them all over my house, my shop. Um, but if I have them here, then I can kind of, you know, monitor our fuel tanks, our grain bins. I can monitor the combine shed. Just gives me a little more peace of mind. So let's try it out. Hopefully this fan isn't too loud, but it's hot up here. So I'm taking my phone here. I'm going to put it in screen record so that y'all can see what I'm recording at the same time i am going to take and put my cellular off so all we're going to have is our wi-fi and then i'm going to get connected to my network which is called farm all right it is connected to the wi-fi so let's let's google something let's just say tractors look at there guys it pulled it right up that's pretty sweet and uh, if y'all can see right there, my cellular, which is the top thing up there, cellular is off. So let's try, let's pull up a, a video here on YouTube. We'll pull up a Griggs Farms video. Guys, that is blazing fast. That's amazing, honestly. Data. Look how quick that is. We pulled program. up Griggs Farms here on Wi-Fi that is shot from my house to here over the UAV, or however you want to pronounce it, wireless bridge. So if you guys need to get Wi-Fi from one location to the other, I mean, this isn't a tremendous amount of distance. I'm gonna measure it and I'll let you guys know, but you know, it's a pretty good distance. It's several hundred feet from here to my shop and it's across, you know, a highway. So there's no way I could get an ethernet line from there to here, but I'm pretty tickled. All right guys, so just to, just to see how fast the internet we have here is, um, I'm gonna pull up a speed test on my phone. Again, I'm screen recording it so y'all be able to see it just like I'm seeing it. This is my uh, personal Wi-Fi provider, my internet provider. Um, so this will give us a pretty good, pretty good idea. I'm pulling it up here. So it looks like we're gonna have about 60, 
65, 67 megabytes per second download speed. And when I get back to the house, I'll do this again on my Wi-Fi in my house. So the, you know, the very beginning portion of our Wi-Fi and just see how fast it is there. Looks like our upload is going to be over 90. That's pretty sweet, guys. I'm not going to lie. Um, I did not anticipate this working as good as it has. It's very simple to, very simple to install. You know, all you need is a couple of Ethernet lines. Uh, me being an electrician, I had the tools and the, the wire to make some longer Ethernet cables. Um, if you have access to be able to put this stuff, you know, rel relatively close to a router or an existing router, it works a little better just because you don't need to make as long of a cable. Uh, I'll link the Ueve, um wireless bridge that we're using to transfer uh, internet from my house up to here to the barn and uh, i'll link a few things down in my description you know if you buy them from me i get a little bit of kickback from it appreciate that um if you've got any questions let me know like i said i've installed a few of these before but this one is seems to be very easy um if anything comes up over the next few months that it decides not to work or something happens i'll, I'll happily let you guys know but y'all check it out if you need to get Wi-Fi from one building or from your house to a building, check it out, y'all. I think it's going to work neat for us. Well, y'all, appreciate y'all watching this one. Hopefully you learned a little something. Maybe maybe this will help you out if you decide to uh, send Wi-Fi or, or internet signal up to a shop or building. Um, like, again, if you got any questions or anything, feel free to ask me. I will try to direct you and guide you as best as I can. This was a relatively easy installation. You know, if you're making your own ethernet cables, that requires a little bit of skill, um, just knowing how to hook the wires and stuff in the cables. Um, not bad, I'm sure there's plenty of videos on YouTube about it. But um, anyway, basically a plug and play unit, if you've got the ethernet cables, you just plug the unit in, install the uh, bridge on the side of the wall, and then just program it. And programming it is literally flipping two switches. So appreciate it, y'all. Y'all have a good one. God bless. We'll see you in the next one. Thank you.